Introducing the all-new Peridua MyV. Now, let's have a moment of silence for Proton. The first Peridua MyV came about in 2005 and since then it has become Malaysia's B-segment hatchback darling for the past 12 years. Now with this all-new third-generation Peridua MyV, it is set to win hearts all over again. For a car with a price range within 44,000 ringgit to 55,000 ringgit, it does come with plenty of impressive features. What I have here today is the range-topping 1.5-litre advanced variant. And as you can see, I don't have the old MyV right next to it because I'm pretty sure you know exactly how it looks like. So, let's just all focus on this good-looking one. It is now entirely new in terms of design and size as well. It is 205mm longer, 70mm wider and 30mm lower. The wheelbase length has been increased by 60mm which means you get more interior space. Designed entirely by fellow countrymen, I personally think it looks really, really good. A lot slicker and all grown up. The LED headlights with reflectors come as standard. Yes, in all variants across the lineup, but sadly, there are no DRLs. I like the sporty looking front bumper with the lower lip skirting and chrome bits all around. These familiar looking dual tone rims are 15 inch in size for 1.5 litre variants, while the 1.3 ones get an inch smaller. From the side profile, you can see now that it is no longer a cute, bubbly looking hatchback. It is lower and less funny looking. And if you look closely, you see beautiful lines that run across the sides. You get a pair of nice side skirting. I like this shark fin antenna. And I also like this new rear look design with this awesome looking spoiler. It is not heavy or droopy looking now. The tail lights are no longer vertical on both sides. This brand new looking LED combination tail lights are Yes, you're right, standard. And thank God there's no chrome strip that run across from one end to another on the tailgate. From what I know, the gear up accessory kit has stacked. Don't get it, it's awful. As compared to the old MyV, this interior right here, like the best. It has got a fresh new look and it somehow feels airy and spacious in here as well. I like the kind of materials they use such as this chrome design around the dash, this soft touch material looking dashboard. You get this fabric panel on the door, the leather semi bucket seat, yes Peridua calls it that. The leather semi bucket seats are actually pretty comfortable and it provides very good side support. I love this new steering wheel design and it is leather wrapped yo! Mirror cluster is now more conventional looking, more matured. In the middle is the multi-info display screen, ref meter and speedometer on both left and right with illuminated rings, and it has got thick, short and cute needles. In the center here, you get this good looking and very easy to use touchscreen head unit. It comes with Bluetooth connectivity, GPS navigation, smart link for Android phones, and reverse camera with guidelines and distance indication. Just not sure how accurate it is, but I quite like that. Down here, climate control settings with a very unique memory function. For let's say memory 1 for cold and memory 2 for very cold. It is just like a quick access for when it's raining, the night time or another one for when it's really scorching hot weather. Down here, you get a power output socket, USB charger and a small compartment for your coins, keys or phone. Conventional looking gear lever, handbrake, too bad there's no armrest. Two small cup holders at the back there, which I don't find it very convenient. It's more for rear passengers. Well, at least there are bottle holders on the front door panels. And oh, this one over here, which I find it very clever and very useful for your sunnies, phones and stuff. Now, let's move on to the things that I like. For a budget B segment car, it comes with keyless entry and push start button as standard. Also, this car comes with built-in smart tag reader right over here. 
it allows you to check your balance and it will even beep to remind you to reload once your balance goes below 10 ringgit. The sensor is right up here and after going through many many tolls, it has never once failed me. 100% passing rate. Expensive car getting stuck at the toll gate with their smart tech devices. Me, in my Myri, deep, passing through like a boss. The next clever thing is this one over here. It's the anti-snatch hook. Well, as the name would suggest, it is to prevent snatch theft. Very uniquely Malaysian. Not very proud of it, but clever nonetheless. The other clever thing is right at the back. It is these Tetarik hooks. Well, in this case, nasi lemak hook. Super convenient for your tapaus and bungkus. And you can enjoy your food back here comfortably. Just check out how much leg room I have back here. It's surprisingly spacious. And the leather seats are comfortable. I like how they have slots to keep all the buckles in. You get isofix points. Well, too bad there's no armrest, but you can recline your seat. Yeah, not very easy, but you can. Oh, there's another thing. There is seatbelt reminders, even for the back seat passengers, which I think should be a standard in all cars. So whenever you are seated at the back, please, please, please buckle up. The boot space is larger than before. Now, check this out. You get full-size spare tyre and not a space saver wheel. Berdoir says you can fit in four cabin-sized luggage bags. We manage a medium and a cabin-sized bag. Well, if you need more space for more bags, pull the seats and you're good to go. So underneath this range-topping all-new Peridua is actually a Toyota Vios engine. Yes, the same one from Peridua engine manufacturing plant in Sendaya Negeri Sembilan, which is a 1.5-litre four-cylinder dual VVTi engine. But unlike the Vios, this doesn't have a CVT. It comes with a four-speed automatic gearbox. It makes 102 horsepower and 136 newton meters of torque. When it comes to safety, Perudua has seemed to have upped their game. This all-new MyV has got a 5-star ASEAN NCAP rating. 1.5 litre variants are equipped with 6 airbags, front, side and curtain airbags. 1.3 variants has got at least 4 airbags, front and side. ABS with EBD, VSE, traction control and emergency stop signal come as standard in all variants. Now this one here is the hero safety feature which is the advanced safety assist or ASA exclusively for 1.5 litre advanced variant. Unlike the more advanced driving assist in let's say Volvo, this is more entry level. It is a safety feature to reduce possible frontal collision at low speed due to face booking. Here's how it works. There are four different functions. The first function is pre-collision warning. It is for when you are driving in between 4 km per hour to 30 km per hour and you're busy face booking. So when the car sees possible frontal collision and you're not doing anything about it, it alerts you. And when you are still not doing anything about it or when you can't react in time, this is when the second function comes in, pre-collision braking. The car will brake for you to avoid that collision because you are busy face booking. The third function, which is front departure alert, it's when you are stopped at a set of lights and you are busy Facebooking. The light turns green, the car in front of you move forward, but you are still there busy Facebooking. The car will then tell you, hey, you stop Facebooking and move along. No, actually it doesn't do that, it just beeps. It is to save you embarrassment from people at the back honking at you or possibly cursing at you. I personally find that very useful because it does happen to me sometimes. Yeah. The final function is called pedal miss operation control. So the car suppresses the engine output if you happen to accidentally stomp on the accelerator pedal. So the car is able to see what's happening in front of you through this stereo camera. Just like our eyes, it is able to gauge the distance and then decide the next step. You can choose to turn it off by holding on to the off button on the right if you feel that you don't need it or it's irritating. 
tech features such as this used to come in premium cars but now in cars such as this in such price range I must say it is pretty impressive So now, how does it drive? If we were to blindfold you and put you in this car to drive it, just let's say lah, I bet you wouldn't be able to tell that this is a Perudua because it is so much refined now. Steering wheel feels so much better now with no unwanted vibration. Accelerator and brake pedals are much tighter that gives better input control when accelerating and braking. Everything just feels so much well put together. The hollowness of Herodua is gone. Together with a now better chassis and suspension, driving this new Myvi doesn't feel like you are on a set of wheels with a shell on top of it anymore. It's really good. It somehow reminds me of the Proton Iris, and that's a compliment by the way. Power delivery is actually not bad as well with the 4-speed automatic gearbox. Especially when you are driving like a normal human being, which is accelerating gradually, it doesn't feel underpowered actually. In fact, it feels pleasant. On the highway, it is comfortable and planted, and the most important thing is, the steering wheel doesn't feel fidgety anymore, and that's a huge improvement. Body roll is significantly lesser. In fact, it does take corners pretty well, sprightly even if you were to push it a bit harder. I like this new sitting position, it makes driving it even more enjoyable. Now, here comes the big butts of Malaysia's B-segment hatchback darling. Road noise. Yes, road noise in here is pretty obvious. It's better than before, but it can be better. The other thing is the ride. The suspension does absorb the roads and small potholes and bumps really well. It is very comfortable, but it is no good for big bumps and big potholes. Don't quite understand why, it is quite bad. Spine shattering even. So these are the kind of big butts that constantly remind you that you are in a budget car. Other than that, it's all good. Well done to Team Malaysia in Perudua. Building cars, people first, with safety in mind. Kasih you satu like. So, is this car for you? Well, if you want a value for money, simple and most importantly, safe roundabout car for your everyday use and you're feeling a bit patriotic, then yes. But if you're the kind of person who have high expectations on things that you buy and you don't want to own the same people's car just like everyone else, then probably not. If you want to find out more about the all-new Perudua My V 1.5 Advanced Variant, do log on to autobus.my. If you like our video, do give us a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the logo or the subscribe button below. <laughs> Almost became a real case of ESA not working because I was above 30 kilometers per hour and tried to pretend I wasn't even looking at Facebook. The things we do for Autobus and for you guys as viewers. <laughs>